There are rarely opportunities in Pet Simulator 99 where you can consistently open something to make a profit. However, right now is one of those times and you're going to want to take advantage of it. On average, you can actually triple your diamonds by just doing one simple thing, which is opening void keys. While void keys are extremely profitable right now, this is not the only thing. Due to some large scale manipulation of prices in the market, there's actually three different things that you can take advantage of to make a massive profit right now. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you three examples of this dangerous manipulation that's going on, what the problem is with this manipulation, and how you guys can take advantage of it. Now, I know this video will help you to make a ton of diamonds, so all I ask is that you give it a like and subscribe for more. And let's just get right into how this actually works. All right, you guys. So to start off, I should probably explain how this manipulation that's going on is much more dangerous than the average manipulation you might be used to. So when you guys hear the word manipulation, you probably think of pets that get manipulated up in price like 500% in like an hour. Now, while this is an example of manipulation, this manipulation really isn't that dangerous because most people in the market know that these prices are being manipulated and very few people actually fall for it. Now, I'm not saying this manipulation is completely harmless. There are definitely people that do fall for it and fall victim and get scammed by these types of manipulators. But the thing is with those manipulations, the price usually bounces back rather quickly and it doesn't really affect the long-term price of these items. The more dangerous manipulation are prices that slowly get manipulated in a direction so that people actually think these are the real prices of these items. Now, I've actually been talking about this manipulation for quite a while, and it's actually one of the big reasons why I haven't really enjoyed trading all that much in the market anymore, because it seems like there is a lot of large scale manipulation going on with certain items. Now, the reason why I bring this up and why I'm talking about in this video is because there's actually three things that have been manipulated down in price over over time so that people think these are the new prices, but really they should be selling for a lot more than they currently are. Now, this first example that we're talking about in this video are the void keys. And if you don't know what void keys are, they're essentially just a drop that you get pretty commonly in the game. Pretty much every item spawning breakable will have a chance at these void keys. So they're not super uncommon. Now, what you could do with these void keys is actually go over here to the third world hub and you can open this void chest for a chance at the huge holographic cat. And if you didn't know already, the huge holographic cat is actually the easiest huge to get out of any of the three chests. So this huge is actually easier to get than the huge wizard Westy from the crystal chest, as well as the huge cyber agony from the tech chest. So this is the easiest huge to get out of those three chests, which means that on average, it's going to take you less keys of opening this chest in order to get a huge. Now I'll have the odds to actually get this huge on the screen here, but essentially it's a one in 1900 chance when using a key to actually get the huge huge holographic cat now compare this to the huge cyber agony this is like almost four times as easy to get and if we actually go to ps99 rep.com so we can see the price history of these keys you'll see that the void key is currently only selling for 12,000 gems each which is a ridiculously low price now obviously this is only based on my observations and this is what i think is happening so if we scroll out here we can see the overall price history of these keys the win the key first came out it settled down at around like 150k and then starting from this point around june 3rd the price pretty much stabilized and it didn't change all that much in price just going up and down over time now if we actually go ahead here and zoom in on this price chart we could see that starting about a week ago at this point july 2nd the price started just to go down out of nowhere like pretty significantly and if we zoom in even closer, we could see there are some pretty big drops here that pretty much came out of nowhere because there was no announcement of changes to the odds for these keys. So there's no like big news that came out that people just started selling these keys for less. I think what you guys will see here is that the price of this key started getting manipulated down in price over time, starting on that July 2nd day. So much so that from July 2nd to July 4th, it dropped over 20,000 diamonds. Now, this wasn't that crazy from July 4th to July 6th, they pretty much stayed at that 50,000 price range. And then when the update came out just a few days ago, it got manipulated even more down. And now it's sitting at just 
12,000 diamonds. You guys can see here that the update was on July 6th, so sometime after the update, we saw significant price dips of like 8,000 in an hour. Which one was this? This one was 10,000 in an hour. So clearly somebody is trying to manipulate these prices, and this is a systematic thing that people are doing to make it look like it's more normal. Now for the general public that play Pet Simulator 99, it's gonna be impossible for them to notice trends like this. They probably think that prices like this are falling for a reason and it's just something they don't know about. But in reality, nothing actually happened to these keys and this is being artificially pushed down by somebody who is automatically buying these keys back up. And if I pull out a calculator right now, we can actually calculate on average how much it would cost you to open up a huge holographic cat using these void keys. So since the void keys are are at 12,500 wrap, we could just multiply this price by the 1,900 keys it would take on average to get it, which gives us a total of 23.75 million. And if we go ahead and actually check on how much this huge holographic cat is selling for, it is selling for 69-ish million, 67 million now. But from our calculations, it's only gonna take us 23 million diamonds worth of void keys right now in order to open the 67 million diamond huge. So this is essentially why I'm saying if you go ahead to the trading plaza and buy these void keys now for that 12,500 price on average it's only going to take you 1900 keys and you're going to get a 67 million diamond huge back from doing so so that is essentially three times the diamonds that you're getting back in value and you can just continue doing this back to back now where this price manipulation actually becomes systematic and nefarious is when you actually try to go find these keys so i'll head over into the trading plaza really quickly and we'll go ahead and actually search for these void keys ourselves now the problem you face when you actually go ahead and look for these keys is that all of the keys that are being put in booths are being instantly sniped by these booth bots so even if you wanted to get these keys look for yourself look at all of these bots that just instantly spawn and snipe every key that you try to get now if you are quick enough you definitely can snipe some of these keys for yourself but the reason why this is so nefarious is that there are people who are purposely manipulating these prices down and then they go ahead and set up bots that instantly snipe these keys for these prices from people who think that these prices are legit so the average player that's grinding and gets like a hundred void keys looks at the wrap price and then just list it for that price because how in the world would they know that the price has been manipulated in the first place and these people that want to get a profit are setting up pots that automatically buy up the keys and then they can do whatever they want with them whether opening them to get the huge and get three times their profit back or just sell them for their actual prices who knows what these hackers are doing with these void keys but the more we spread the word about these types of manipulations the harder it will be for these guys with these bots to actually snipe these keys from the booths as well as the quicker we can get the actual price of these keys to bounce back up because chances are if you have been trading in the past few days you've probably sold your keys for this manipulated down price while in reality you should probably just be opening these keys right now because you're not going to get anywhere near the actual value for these keys if we actually figured out the true value for these keys like just breaking even on average from opening the huge from it we could take that 67.5 million price range and divide it by the 1900 keys it take on average which would give us a true value or like a break even value of 35,000. so if i were you guys i would not be selling your void keys for anything under 35,000. but if you want to potentially three times the amount of diamonds you put in definitely server hop around and try to find some keys for this price range it kind of sucks that you're taking advantage of people that don't know about this but if you guys don't go ahead and actually buy them then the booth snipers slash cheaters are the ones that are actually going to be making the profit now while this is the case this actually isn't the only item that has been manipulated in the past week or so there's actually multiple items that this is constantly happening to. The next one of these items actually is the tech key. So if we pull up the tech key here, this is the graph. You'll see over time, these things were selling for 60,000. And then there was a massive nerf to the odds of actually getting the huge from this key. So rightfully so, the price did plummet. So this is pretty natural. I'm not sure what the actual price should be, but we can calculate that right now. So if we take the price of the huge cyber agony, which is 70.5, 
5 million at the time of recording this. And then we divide it by the odds to actually get it, which is a one in 7,900 chance. That means on average, you would be breaking even if you were buying these keys at 9,000. So at this 4,150 price range, if we multiply it by the 7,900, that means on average, you're getting this huge cyber agony for only 32 million diamonds. This is absolutely huge. And this is just another case of this systematic manipulation that somebody's doing and they're doing this to take advantage of people where they're doing the same thing by setting up bots that actually go ahead and buy these tech keys for this price that people are putting it up for in booths. If we look at the same time range from the void keys, we'll see that in the past week, the price has just absolutely artificially been plummeting down where on 628, the price actually fell by 7,000. These are not regular price changes that happen in a market. This is done by manipulation. There's no reason why these prices should be changing by so much in such a little time so if you actually go ahead in the trading plaza and you can find these for around 4,000, you're going to be doubling your diamonds by opening these to try to get the cyber agony now obviously this isn't going to take just a few keys on average if you actually want to get this huge you're going to have to spend around 32 million diamonds but if you spend this amount and you actually end up getting the cyber agony you can then sell the cyber agony and then get even more tech keys so it's pretty much an infinite profit loop right now before the price of these keys begins to go back up. And if we head over to the trading terminal and actually try to find any of these tech keys, you'll see that it's the same case with the void keys that bots are just instantly buying these things up before anybody can get them. So there's definitely some discord group or some strange group of people that manipulate prices in order to try to do this. So here we can find some for 4.2k. As you can see, look, look at these like random bots that just end up spawning on the booth to try to get them. I honestly think that the market in Pet Simulator is just at its all time worst and it's just not that fun trading at this point just because of how rampant the manipulation of prices are. And honestly, there's seemingly nothing we can do. I don't know what the fix would be for big games at this point. All I can say is that it's become really clear that certain people are manipulating prices like little by little so that people don't notice that the prices have been manipulated and they just think these are the legit prices. Now, I did tell you guys there are three items that you can actually make profit from that have been manipulated like this currently. And the third item is actually pinatas. Yes, believe it or not, pinatas have even been manipulated down in price. So some people are definitely buying these things up with bots and then going ahead and popping them and then selling the gifts or doing whatever. Who honestly knows at this point? If we pull up the chart for pinatas, you'll see that they've been pretty stable in price, but they have been going down as less and less people want the gifts. And honestly, less and less people have been grinding in areas where you can even use these pinatas. But as you can see right now, look at how rampant the price manipulation has been in the past few weeks for these pinatas. On July 5th, the price went from 38,000 all the way down to 16,000 in less than 24 hours. Now the price of these things are sitting at just 24,000. And at this number, you can actually profit from opening pinatas with no game passes at all. On average, if you destroy a pinata without the super drops game pass you're going to get an average wrap of gifts of 32,000. you're going to be making 8,000 diamonds worth of wrap in gifts right back from doing that and if you do have the super drops game pass you can actually make 57,000 diamonds worth of gifts back from destroying pinatas so these are very worth it if you have super drops but even if you don't have super drops i would just go ahead and buy these and then flip them for even more because since people that have super drops are going to be making 57,000 back they're definitely going to be willing to pay probably even double this price somewhere upwards of 40k now before this price started going all crazy it was sitting around that 40k price range but yeah these are very profitable for you guys and i definitely suggest buying these three things if you see them them in the trading plaza and again i have to say it kind of sucks because you are taking advantage of the people who are selling them but the thing is that you're taking the profit away from those people that are doing this with bad intentions and who are the ones who are actually manipulating the price because obviously they are doing this in order for them to make profit so if you guys are taking the profit then they're the ones that are going to be profiting now i'll even include one bonus item of another thing that has been manipulated down in price now i don't think you can actually make profit by 
opening these because the chance to actually get the huge from these global gifts is really bad but just look at how much the global gift has fallen in just the past week the day of the update on saturday the prices of these global gifts were 1.81 million and then just hours later they were selling for half the value so obviously they were being a little more obvious by this price manipulation because clearly you could see that prices like this should not fall that quickly for anything unless there's a huge nerf or some big news about it and there was no news for any of the items that i talked about in this video there is no reason that the prices should have been changing like this now hopefully this video helps you guys to make some profit and you guys can take that profit away from the cheaters and exploiters who are manipulating all of these prices and if you do think you'll make a profit give the video a like and subscribe for more like it i'll see you guys in the next video and peace out